Color theory is your friend. Welcome back, Pixel family. This time around we have a request from Yigit. And it's about anti-aliasing different colors, in this case complementary colors. So let's jump into it. So here we have a red background and a green line. And the way you would anti-alias this green line is to understand how you would mix colors in traditional art. Basically, you want to introduce a little bit of a red color into the green color. And what would happen in traditional art media? Well, the green color would become desaturated. And why does it happen like that? Well, if we take a look here at the green color on this hue wheel right here, and if I just make a selection tool and just use the color picker, notice how it will start to become desaturated. So on this color picker, up and down is how something bright or dark is, and the left to right is how something is desaturated. So here on the right, it's completely saturated, and here on the left, it's going to be completely desaturated, meaning the intensity of the color is very small. So it's very important to understand the difference between saturation and value or how something bright is. Do you see what happens? As I travel towards the middle, do you see how this green color is becoming more desaturated? And it will suddenly jump here on the red color and go towards the saturation here. So the same thing would happen in the opposite way. So look here. I will travel to the left in the desaturation and then I will jump to the green one and become more saturated. So this is basically what happens. So if I take just a little bit of green and put it here on the red, which is completely saturated, then it would pull this color a little bit here towards the green hue, okay? But it would still be in the red hue, so to speak. Now, this isn't the entire story. So there's another, let's say, example that you need to take into consideration that how it's going to travel across the hues. But before that, let's take a couple of screenshots from these color picker tools. So we have these two colors, which are very similar uh, when it comes to their position in saturation. And let's go and look here. So I have basically taken those color picker tools and combined them. So if I just flip this around, okay, did you see? And you would basically want to try and travel across from this point to this point, but going straight like this will not help you out. This won't be a good anti-alias example because the colors would be way off. So let's take this for an example and show you how it's gonna look so poorly if I just take these colors. So let's take something in between. So let's take, let's say here, here, and here. So roughly these points, okay? So let's take this one. Let's take something in the middle. And this is what I'm showing you what will not function properly, okay? And then lastly, something here. Okay, do you see how it's a bit all over the place? So if I turn on this layer which compares the values, do you see how the values are not being uh, properly anti-aliased? So they jump from, let's say, bright to dark and then something between. So it's not really a good anti-alias technique, just to take this as an example. But this is very good to understand how this saturation works. So the from this point on to this point, the more of the opposite color you introduce, the more you would pull it towards the other, okay? So if you have 100% of this color right here, and place, let's say, I don't know, let's say 10%, then this color would travel roughly 10% towards that color. But you also need to take into consideration the hue wheel in its totality. So let's say this green color is here, and this red one is here, okay? So you want to take into consideration how exactly are you going to travel across the hue because it's not going to be a straight line, okay? Because this is completely neutral color, meaning it has all of these combined, okay? So the way you would get it is by traveling across hue. So it would happen roughly like that. So do you remember hue shifting that I've talked about in the course? Well, this is exactly it. So you would also have to hue shift your colors a little bit towards, let's say, the yellows, oranges, and then roughly here. So if you want to anti-alias that green color, you would also have to hue shift it when it happens. So here's how I would do it. I would take this green tone and then I would desaturate my green color because I'm pulling it towards the red. Then I would also darken it a little bit. 
because I'm also bringing this hue shift as well and I'm targeting roughly half. So if you notice here, down at the bottom, if you take the red color, it's right here on the edges. Do you see how wide of a jump it is on the right side? So I don't want to go over the blue colors. So I don't want to go uh, this, this other way around because it's closer to go from this side. So in this case, I will travel across this section, which is very short when compared to this other one. So I will go roughly half. So this is yellowish color. I will desaturate it, make it a bit darker. And then I will use this color to anti-alias. And then again, roughly half would be, let's say this orangish color. And then I would make this color a bit brighter and more saturated because I'm trying to go towards this red color back again because notice that this red is up here so i go down and then up again so i'm basically you can imagine it sort of a let's say u curve like that if you will so something like that okay uh and you'll see what's gonna happen so again from this color roughly half and then I will almost go all the way towards the red color because now I'm closer to this red color and then I will try to get as close as possible to this one. Do you see how it's going to anti-alias? It looks way better now. And if I turn on this value proposition, do you see how the values transition properly? Okay. Even though this one is, let's say, almost in this yellowish hue. Now, this is the basic knowledge of how you can anti-alias something. And this, again, introduces a lot of new colors. So if you are constricted by a color palette, well, you will just have to work around your color palette by understanding which sections of your color palette are going to be closest to the colors that you are looking for. The easy trick how you can do this exact same thing is by taking this green color, make a new layer, and make these sections which you want to anti-alias and take the opacity of this layer by let's say half and then you would repeat the process and then reduce even that by half so let's say roughly to something like that and then lastly again by half And there we go. So this is roughly what you would get if you decide to go with this, let's say, tip or easy approach. If you just want to enter something, you can use uh, the reduction in layers. Now, this last approach isn't something that I would recommend. It's good if you are a total beginner and you just want to enter something very quickly. But I would urge you to practice understanding the color theory and try to do this manual approach. Okay. And if you are constricted by color palette, well, as I've said, you'll have to do by your colors. So studying a little bit of color theory will go a long way. Color theory is your friend. And yeah, I hope this helped a little bit. That's all for today. So as always, remember to relax, enjoy and have fun.